Greetings, everybody. Many of you who follow my YouTube channel know me already. As many of our of you are aware, in Charlottesville, Virginia, recently, there was an attack in that state on the peace of mind and security of the whole state. And on the lives of a crowd of people. One was killed for certain, about 11 were injured. I know of one who was assaulted, though I haven't met her in person. I will keep my speech as kind and as gentle but firm and as in control of myself as I can while still getting the point across or points across. This attack was not only an attack on those people in Charlottesville, Virginia. This was an attack on everybody. And it may have taken fewer lives, literally than other attacks in recent years in this country. But taking one life on purpose from a space of cruelty and of needless anger or violence is universally wrong. Taking one life from that space is taking one life too many. Irrespective of whether it's a hominid life or not. And while I'm on the West Coast, I want to address very politely from from my heart and from my soul as well as my brain or what I call my head heart those people who engaged in violence during that during that episode <clears throat> sirs and madams and everybody in between My name is findable on my YouTube profile for the purpose of this video. I'm not going to share it. But I want to ask you some questions. 
and I will be gentle. But I'm speaking from my heart, my soul, and from my brain's emotional hemisphere. This speech is impromptu. It was not written ahead of time. My words are not planned. Not one. I want to ask you openly, are you capable of caring? When you pet your dog, can you tell that you care about the dog? When you say, I love you to someone you know, I have known for years. Are you able to feel it? When you look at somebody asking for coin from you, whose life may or may not depend on receiving your spare coin or dollar. Can you feel caring when you share your abundance? You can? Good. Until this body was 22 and a half of my 38, I couldn't. My head had half of its emotional hemisphere blocked by a tumor that was a stage two of four. And about a third of it, my ability to feel, was blocked from pharmaceutical side effects. I, for those of you For those of you who answered yes, when I asked you if you have the ability to care, if you have the ability to feel your inner self responding with a reaction of caring about someone else when you show caring to them, then you're bloody lucky. And I was afraid for many years that I was evil because I didn't have that ability. And I was afraid that I might secretly want to do something like that person who rammed into the crowd full of people even when I was hugging some the person I, I was dealing with. I was scared. That I was someone who would want to do. That I was at my core someone who would want to do. the kinds of violence and damage from malice that you did. And I now know I wasn't. But I would have almost killed Until I was 22 and a half, I would almost have killed for the certainty of knowing that I actually loved someone that I was showing any kind of love to, any kind of more than, other than romantic love to.
because romantic affection was pretty much the only thing that could break through my neurological blocks at the time. And it was the affectionate side that could. I hope that those of you who were involved, those of you who spoke and behaved from anger or malice or hate, That those of you who can care who can look at those at those things that you chose on the day you were involved to stand for. And reflect. And reflect when you see this video that I wished so hard before my emotional hemisphere's first birthday on January 7th, 2002. <laughs> that I wished so fucking hard that I could care about people. that I could be certain that I didn't want violence to them. <laughs> and if you've had the ability to care all your life, and know, and know it, You so stood there <laughs> from a place of anti group hatred <laughs> that you were willing to do violence to an entire group of people who didn't know you, had never done anything to you personally. Or that, or that you, you were in some of your cases willing to ram into a whole crowd of people that you didn't know. In at least some cases that you didn't know from Adam, Eve, or anybody else who had never done malice to you personally. When you had the option to care about them, I hope, I hope you hear me. And I hope you reflect
because with those of you who did the violent things did on that day hurt so many more people than just the Virginians that you attacked whose bodies you attacked they hurt a lot of people please tell me that you want a caring future please tell me that you want a, re a truly safer and more peaceful America that is prosperous for everybody, including those you disagree with. Please, I'm begging.